Sat and people, it's your boy RD and Cat Burns. And we are going to be playing Hometown Battle with Kappa Electra. Let's get into it. Okay, nightlife. Oh, uh, no. Come on, just be honest now. Let's be honest. Well, you've got like fun gay clubs and I'm gay, so that's I just, where. I just feel like in general as well. Vibes, no, but London vibes. do have good nightlife. Do you? I'm going to just say London. All the London clubs that I know are just mad, like, pretentious. And yeah, I don't go to them. And spends out their money and it's not fun. Yeah. I'm Everywhere not... I go to in Brighton, people dance and, like... OK, well, I'm going to say Brighton. Let's say Brighton for this one. Damn. Uh, yeah, you know, you've got this one, though. I'm going to get cussed out for saying that. Football. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really know anything about football, if I'm honest with you. Oh, yeah, God. London. Oh, see how fast I said that? Brighton are going to come for me. And Brighton are, do are doing well at the moment. It could be even on like, music venues. I'm gonna say London. There's a, there's there's I'd, Brixton. I'd, I'd go for London, yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd definitely go for London. I mean, to be fair, one of my favourite venues that I have performed at is at the Concord in Brighton, but that's just because it's got a special place in my heart because it's home, isn't it? Oh, home for my heart. Oh, yeah. Um, my dream oh, venue no. is um, O2 Academy Brixton. That's like my dream because okay. I like live down the road. So I have no idea. Dating scene. I don't know, I've been off the market for two years, yeah. but I don't know. <laughs> My girlfriend's not even from, she's not from, well, she's from like Watford. Is Watford London? Then London. <laughs> Again, I'm going to get cast out by certain people, but I'd, I'd probably go for London as well. There's, oh. definitely, more, there's definitely more, more to choose from. Oh. <laughs> Is that going to ruffle some feathers? Ooh. <laughs> oh, say, fashion. London. London, yeah. London. I feel like this is a little bit of a stitch up. You guys have some sick vintage stores. Yeah, I was, that's what I was going to go yeah. for. Like, not like you're like <laughs> popping, yeah, not like you're popping kind of like current fashion of what's yeah. like trendy, but like, isn't that how kind of fashion works? Whatever gets trendy, once it's too trendy, it's not fashion anymore. Yeah. And people start doing like the opposite and it just goes around in a circle. But yeah, I'll go for London. Takeaways. London. 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 Yeah, Brighton's awful for takeaways, I'm not going to lie. Do you have chicken shops? You know, we just got a Morley's, you know. Uh, we just, we, this whole time? We just got a Morley's, yeah. Oh my gosh. Is that Uber Eats out there, Brian? Yeah, yeah, it's not no man's land. We've got Uber Eats. Deliveroo? Yeah, 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 we've got Deliveroo and that. Just eat? Yeah, 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 we've got all of them. Everything's yeah. quicker in London and actually comes hot. This one's easy, friendliness. Yeah, yeah, Brighton. Brighton, every single day of the week. Londoners, we just look at you like... It's so mad, because when I first started coming to London, as like a Brightonian, whatever you want to call it, I've like, you chat to strangers or civilians, or like if I'm on a train and I've sat next to you because the train's too busy, I'd initiate conversation with you. And that's just not a thing. Looked at like I was on something. If you did that to a person in London, we'd just get up and move. <laughs> yeah, just not even say, yeah, nothing. <laughs> Beach. Beach. Seagulls or pigeons? Pfft, neither. Pigeons. <laughs> Seagulls will actually take your whole meal from you. It's wild. It's Especially rude. In Brighton, yeah, like Brighton. Dragons. They don't care. <laughs> they don't They're care. Huge. Pigeons, pigeons. I'm pigeons. terrified of all birds. You're scared of birds? Petrified of birds, you know. <laughs> And for being from Brighton, it makes no sense. I'm, just, I'm so it's scared really of birds. Funny. So what happens if a pigeon just comes to eat? I'm running, like ducking. I don't care if we're on a date, whatever, I'm ducking. Wow, <laughs> I love that. The lanes or Oxford Street? The lanes. What's that? It's like this cool, quirky part of Brighton that has all the vintage shops and like has all the different characters and there'll be people like busking. And oh. It's just vibes. Oxford Street is just... Charring, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I no, I would probably say what you're saying. Up. Brighton Pier or Clapham Commons? I've never been to Clapham Commons. Clapham Commons full of yummy mummies. Oh, Clapham Commons then. <laughs> well, you're jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I just got that. <laughs> no, like, Brighton Pier's nice. See, I'd get terrorised by birds from Brighton Pier, so I'd never go on there. They are like the biggest gang in Brighton, you know, by far. They, like, just... they just run the ends. Oh my Seagulls god. Seagulls just run the ends in Brighton. Favourite thing about each of your homes? My favourite thing about my hometown is that it's very open and judge-free. You can be whoever you want to be and become the person you're supposed to be without worrying about what people are going to think of you, innit? My favourite thing about London, probably South London, is that it teaches you some grit. Like, you really learn how to how to handle yourself. No one can really chat to you too... No one can really do anything a bit too mad. Like, you just know how to handle yourself, um, which is something that I really love about London. Home for my heart. Out now. Yeah. <laughs>